Time to look back at some old photos from the Dugster Diary days. Today we're on the road, on the throughway, heading east. And boy, it does not look uh, like we're going to see any racing today, does it? But it turned out that we did see some racing. We're on our way to Fonda Speedway, of course. And boy, it looked like that pretty much most of the early part of the day, as this was way back in 2008. And man, look at that. Look at that sky. That looks pretty nasty right there. And as you can see, it had rained at the track earlier in the day. Uh, this might be a situation in today's world, you know, uh, unlike 16 years ago, they might have just canceled at that point. Crazy Kenny Martin, of course, his son has been racing. And there's the Bob Co. Racing Videos shirt. We got a picture of uh, a Bob uh, a little bit later on. Of course, uh, this, I believe, was Kevin Buff here. I don't, I'm not sure about the first name there, but uh, uh, as you can see there, it's pretty messy over there at Fonda Speedway on this particular day back in 2008. But uh, they were going to work it in, and they were going to have some fun. And uh, in a little bit here, uh, we'll get to some more of what was going on at the track that day. But obviously, uh, that's where the water is. Of course, they're pulling right from the river right there. And uh, now this, I believe, is Danny Odie. I got a picture of him later on. Let me know if I'm right on that uh, or not. Mark Mortensen, I believe. I just saw him, I think it was two years ago at the Rotterdam Square show, a little look down the line. This is from the riverside looking down uh, where the Modifieds are. Of course, the track would be just off to the left-hand side there. Alton Palmer's, the familiar number 76. Um, man, I know I know the name. I just can't think of it. I, if you do, please leave me a comment. I can picture. I know he raced for a while. There's Paul Small, of course. Uh, he was announcing then with another guy who you're going to see here in just a little bit. On the left, of course, is Stuart Fries. And I'll give you a second if you can figure out who the guy on the right is. He was hiding from the camera on this spot. His wife, of course, very well known. That's Marty Beberwick there hiding from the camera at that point. Uh, I believe Donnie Corrales there in the 21. Here's Stuart's Friesen's ride back when he was with the old Forge Power Sports team. We actually went out there and had some fun with some of their snowmobiles uh, one time. Um, here is current track groomer uh, at the racetrack right here, Craig Hansen. Uh, here's Jack Johnson's 12A. We got a shot of Jack coming up a little bit inside his car. Boy, how how young does Ronnie Johnson look <laughs> in this picture, right? Again, this was 16 years ago out at Fonda Speedway. And there's Dave Lape over on the left. We miss you, Dave. Uh, may you rest in peace. And, of course, Alton Palmer there on the right. Dave, uh, of course, um, you know, what can you say? Class guy, fun guy to be around, and then one heck of a race car driver. There's Alton Palmer in front of his number 76. So obviously the other one might have been driven by somebody else at that time. Here's Danny Odie. Of course, he did a lot with um, you know tracking down histories of old speedways, very instrumental in keeping the memories of a lot of these old racetracks alive. So, uh, Danny, we miss you too, buddy. Um, and here you can see, looking down the side of the Matt DiLorenzo hauler, it was... Uh, it was raining just off to the west, but somehow it ended up uh, uh, not getting us on that night. Um, man, I can't remember his first name, Cananzano. I think it's Mark, IMCA modified. He won a lot of races back in the day. And there is Matty D, Matt D. Lorenzo, still winning races and still racing today. Mike Mallett on the left, of course, and a rare photo as he does not have a cold beverage in his hand, but <laughs> this was before the race. And, of course, photographer and musician extreme, um, Derek Covey. I think it's Covey or is it Covey? I can't I think it's Covey. He was there on the right. Um, early ride here for Bobby Varon, driving for Jake Spraker, who just got inducted into the Hall of Fame, the Dirt Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Tony Pepicelli in the 11A. And here they were, heading out on the racetrack, packing it up, getting ready to have some fun. Derek McGrew, of course, his son has kind of taken over duties for the team lately, although I, I think Derek might be getting back in. I wonder about that. I shared this picture on his Facebook page the other day when I found it. Dave Kamara's back. He just came back after last year. Uh, we interviewed him during the uh, part show, the Northeast Racers Auction and Trade Show. So make sure to look for that interview. But he is back. This was him 16 years ago when he was really in his prime. Car's getting ready to head out and have some fun at Fonda. And, of course, this guy needs a... No introduction right there. The, the, the coolest guy ever in dirt modified racing. And Jack, we miss you terribly uh, as well. I've got uh, hundreds of pictures of Jack Johnson, and um, I'll make sure I, I do a bin at some point where I just just look at those. But, uh, man, there, there's, there's racing cool, 
And then there's Jack Johnson, cool, one of the coolest guys. I think maybe the coolest guy ever to drive a dirt modified. So we're here at Fonda, like we said. We were getting some shots out there as they were getting ready to go. And it still didn't look good uh, for them actually getting this show in. There's Paul Small up in the tower getting ready to have some fun. And there's Mike Mallett. I remember those old uh, dart heads hats that he's wearing. I had one of those. And uh, here's a guy that we really, really miss, um, Bob. You know, I mean, only guy I know who shot handheld race video up on the roof, and you would never know it. He was a human tripod, Bob Coe, man. A lot of those videos are still out there, so we miss you, and we hope you enjoy shooting races up in heaven. Again, hard to believe we got this show in, but we did, as this was the first heat race taking the green. You see the Cow Palace there in the background. And this was also the night that Johnny Scarborough had his flip and fire, so we're so happy that, that Johnny's okay. I did a bin on that one a while ago. I hope you guys like these. Uh, leave a comment, leave a like on Facebook, or excuse me, Facebook, and of course on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe, turn on the notifications. We're going to try to do some more of these as, um, you know, life's gotten away from us here, but um, it's prevented us from doing a lot of things, but uh, things seem to be quieting down, so hopefully we'll have more of these photo bins for you to check out down the road. <laughs>